Okay, so you want me to talk about global warming? It's the biggest scam of the century. I, I got to tell you, my main bitch is with democracy. I was contained to a small room to talk in the, the, the useless questions. Anyway, I, I got to tell you, my main bitch is with democracy. I think democracy is a myth. Now, what's been set up is some sort of environmentalist nutters just going after, saying we've got to cut, cut our carbon uh, footprint. I think anybody who believes in democracy, well, I really feel sorry for that person because they have been led down the garden path. Now, what does this mean? Carbon dioxide is essential for life. And they're saying, no, we've got to cut it, we've got to cut it, we've got to cut it. Nonsense. Carbon dioxide is the food for plants, etc., etc. Now, I, I think it's so interesting when people say, well, we've got to have democracy, when really there's no country in the world, there's not one teeny tiny little speck of dust in the world with democracy. And I challenge everybody to tell me one country in the world with democracy, there's none. They're putting taxes on it all. So what it means is that energy costs are going up. So uh, people say, America's got democracy. You know, America's the heart of democracy. My goodness gracious granny. They have no more democracy than, uh, let me think of one place now. Heating costs, everything goes up if you tax carbon dioxide. I think Howdy Doody had more democracy then, because they had the peanut gallery. <laughs> That's what Howdy Doody had, the peanut gallery. Can I go now? The peanut gallery was more effective in controlling Howdy Doody, because whenever the peanut gallery cheered, Howdy Doody did what they said. <laughs> okay, let's carry on. We don't even have the power of the peanut gallery. Can you imagine voting for somebody? I think it's really funny. People, I don't do this sort of thing because I live here in China, the seat of freedom. Now, you've got this thing called the IPCC, the International, I don't know, whatever it's called. I say going to democracy, you go to USA or Canada, and I vote for Joe Blow, and I cast my vote, and <clears throat> somebody pays off the guy I vote for. <laughs> what does he do? Who is he going to represent? Me, the guy who gave him a vote, or me who gave him a thousand dollars? Hmm. They are the United Nations government thing. All the governments come together. Do you know that there are 15,000 people in Durban this week? 15,000. I am so lucky. I have... Let's not just say North America. Let's say the whole world. Scammers. Obama said, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Think how much it costs to fly all those people to Durban. <laughs> Nonsense. Yes, we can. Screw you. That's what he said. So now you've got this funny guy called Michael Mann, Professor Michael Mann from Penn State University. All that money went to Obama's campaign. <clears throat> what a joke. And he doesn't know the first thing about statistics. <laughs> now, it, it seems to me, <laughs> it seems to me as if statistics is kind of essential when you're studying climate and thousands of years of numbers and figures. Democracy is a myth. He hasn't got a clue. Bail out the banks. Bail out the banks. Forget the people who's got the money. And yet he's created this thing called the hockey stick graph. And now uh, it's been dismantled. It's, it's a complete fraud. I've never heard such a 
Never heard such a myth in my life. Please, don't be silly. Let me go. I don't want to stay here to, to answer the silly question. Let the banks sink. But they're using it on the BBC. They're using it at the IPCC. They're using it in all these places. So, anybody who tells me there's a democracy in the world, any, I challenge, I challenge the world, where is there a democracy? Scandalous. Absolutely scandalous. No, there's no democracy in the world. You guys in Australia, you don't have it. We don't have it in Canada. England just blew the whole damn thing. What we've got to do is get back to proper policies. Forget your windmills. Forget all these energy things. They can be done in time. Get back to coal. Get back to gas. Get back to oil. And that's the way the world economy will work. Full stop. So that's all I have to say. There's no democracy in the world. <clears throat> so let's forgive up on it. Cheers. <laughs> Fornicate for freedom. That's what we got to do. Fornicate for freedom. That's democracy. Thank you. <clears throat> Okay, finished.